relatively confident right now. He's got he's got the hatchery down. And uh, we'll wait and see what the choices of tech are going to be as we do have the 15 pool here to follow it up. Yeah, absolutely. So exactly what you expect. Now, from the terminal, of course, we always like to see what he follows the Reapers with. Oh, he should go for the expansion unless he wants to like, just all in. Uh, and is it going to be one to three Reapers? And then is he going to go for the Hellion, uh, the, the, the Reactor Hellion into Hellbats? Or is he just going to go non-stop Hellions? You know, we could see Blue Flame Hellion, something like that. It's, it's definitely a possibility. Oh, I'd love to see another Blue Flame Hellion. Yeah, Actually, so it, it didn't work very well it against didn't. Snoot at all. But it was great fun to watch, and it's always very, very entertaining. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay, the first Reaper is out. Gonna try and find his opponent. Of course, he might see that Overlord, and he may not have. There's an Overlord just above the net of his opponent, but it's all good. And yeah, like overall, I don't really know what to expect. I, I feel like this is just gonna be a straight macro game to begin with, at least. Yeah, it looks like it. We're not gonna see any cheese out of both of these players. So of the two scenarios we were talking about before the game, it looks like we are going to have the situation where actually these guys are going to respect each other, sort of go into their normal games a bit, and if we see some crazy shenanigans, especially coming out of TLO, which we all love, oh, good save there on the drone. We are going to be seeing that a little bit later. He needs to get on creep so we can build that. There we go. Excellent choice. And of course, a spore crawler. Could get it. Yeah, and he does oh, get one. Oh, wow. Very nice. Yeah, so one drone, uh, is the second one going to go down? No, that's a lot of buildings being built right now, and TLO Ooh, really TLO. wants that queen. He's going to get it. Yeah, that was really close. That gas guy didn't need to finish there, so he wouldn't have been able to cancel the second week, but he is now coming. Of course, uh, they did change this to force cross position, so that's why he just bombed it across the map and the overload flew across the map. But these two Zerglins are about to get into the natural, and they might actually... Oh, no, the Reaper does pop. And he did go for three this time instead of two, which is pretty standard, so this will save him. And... Uh, oh. SCP need to get picked off there. Ooh, just about survives. Okay, so... Uh, Decent early game harassment coming out of here from Bunny, picking off a drone, preventing those initial scouting links from picking off the SCV as well. He's got a second and third command center on the yeah. way, factory and reactor coming down for him too. So uh, things are looking pretty hunky-dory here. He's gone up to three Reapers in the middle of the map, and he's going to try and uh, do a lot of damage here. That's why the two queens are together, by the way. Ooh. One of them can get slightly dicey there. And oh my goodness, there are three queens on the low ground and one on the high ground. One but targeting Reaper. the Reaper that's low, really nice move there by, uh, by Bunny to try and escape, but unfortunately it's not gonna work. Gets another drone. Ooh. And he will lose another queen. There is also a spore here as well, just in case some crazy aggression did come out of him. Uh, Tilo hasn't been able to scuff that much. He doesn't know Did exactly. he just not cancel when the uh, injured drone became a spore? I suppose I don't think he built a spore though. Did he? he did. He built he like built he built spore. two gas geysers and a spore. Oh, did he? I he had to build three game. buildings, but oh. that'll obviously come in later against like yes. drops and banshees and stuff. So it's not going to be an absolutely okay. huge impact I, I on the game. I didn't see that. I just saw the two gas geysers which he did cancel. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that must have been a little bit of a mistake. Um, okay, so that makes sense now. Yeah. And yeah, Bunny is actually going up to looks like cloak banshee here. So we're gonna have Hellion Reaper Banshee. He did lose a bunch of the Reapers, so he's down to just one. And a little bit of a mistake running it up and leave or keeping the hurt one with the pack, allowing it to get picked up. He's sort of, you know, running away. Um because now he's you know, he's just down to one Reaper and there's not that many you know, you, the Reapers are very nice because they're your meat shields because they regenerate their health. So you always want them to take the pot shots from the Queens or the Hellions, uh, from the Zerglins. And you know that's limited now. But four Hellions out on the field the Banshees moving closer to being completed. There is no cloak yet, but the yep. second gas has been added on in the main. Yeah, we've got the Roach Warren about halfway done right now. Uh, should be able to complete shortly. The Hellions, though, trying to go for a bit of a run Ooh. by, and the door is open, ladies and gentlemen. TLO, all of Huge. a sudden, is going to line up just a little bit. We might have a bit of barbecueage going on so far, doing a it great job of surrounding these Hellions. The positioning from TLO, considering the position he is in, is sublime, and all but a single Hellion go down. Very, and very nice micro. Bunny, a couple of um, missed micros there. Obviously, when in that position, if you attack move, you're going to go for the queens. Yep. And the drones were just trying to get us around. So he, he no. went, went for the queens, didn't get as many pot shots onto the drones, but two more oh. aliens. And they're lining up on the ramp. He doesn't get them, though, thanks to the, the vision denied there. And he's, you know, he's killed about 12 workers with about six aliens, so it's been about even thus far. Yep, he's doing very well. Scout. Okay, so there we go. So 11 workers have been killed. Okay. Uh, we've got a couple of Reapers, and Hellion's gone down as well. But, as Funk had just pointed out, the gold base has not been spotted by Bunny. So uh, he's used, he's tried to do a fair bit of early game harassment, but behind this as well, TLO's just been droning up. If you take a look at the work account now, it's 55 versus 48. 
A uh, bit annoying to have to lose that overlord there, but does spot the timing of both engineering bays. Yeah. And uh, at this point, even though it looks like you know a lot of workers have been roasted, TLO seems to be in an okay position. Yeah, uh, the Spore did move into the natural, so the Banshee that flies into them. He does get four kills, which is you know still nice. He's still alive. It does spot the gold now, which is a big thing. And behind this, TLO is going for his double upgrades, I believe, onto the... Oh, did he just cancel them? <gasps> oh, they're in production. Can that Banshee abuse the position behind the minerals here to pick off a couple of extra workers? The Queen can't get in range because it can't get past the mineral line. What a frustrating position to be in, but don't forget as well, if the Queen does get within range, I think it literally just... It just one shot to death. Yeah, it's yeah. like so close to dying, that yeah. Banshee. It's so close to Michael because uh, Banshees have a range 6, Queens have a range 7. Mm. But uh, he has to get right up against yeah, the mineral the patch and the Banshee can just move around it's and harass him forever in a day. It's very tight, but I love this idea from, from TLO. He's gone up to Roaches, he's gone for the gold, so obviously he's got a nice influx of income. And he's going to Roaches to kind of keep his opponent in his base. And 1 1's about to complete for yes. TLO as well. 1 1 has only just started here for Bunny. Is the bunker going to go down? There's only a single unit, no SCV in sight, ladies and gentlemen. And it goes down. TLO performing an initial bust here. How much damage is he going to get done? He is going to actually get quite a lot. Stim is supposed to finish up the tank at the top of the ramp. Is now sieging up, so that's going to deal a lot of damage. Of course, the SCVs have to be careful not to surround the, the Roaches as they get pummeled. And Stim just now finishing up as well, so I, I believe. So he can. You know, chase these units the way the Banshee is here as well to add in that extra DPS and of course, you know, raining from the skies. But a lot of depots, funny supply blocks, you can't actually keep reinforcing them until he starts losing so these So many units. supply depots have gone down, guys. Bunny was 101 out of 81 for a second there. And, uh, There's a well, lot of roaches here. That's right. I mean, it's looking difficult. He needs to get attacked on the low ground. He's done that, but wow, picks it off. Is there another one on the high ground? There is. Those roaches are still being shelled at. Bunny taking a lot of losses here, but so is TLO, and now these roaches are going to find it so hard to run away. They're just going to sack themselves. What does the situation look like once the dust settles? Well, TLO is building a couple of extra roaches so he can carry on doing this. He did build another round of drones. He's at 65, but you know he, he played this very intelligently. He, he went for a bit of tech, and then he went for the minerals at the gold, and that gave him an influx of thin to do Getting this aggression. Getting nerd chills, Pewee. We've got, uh, we've got tunneling claws coming down from TLO Ooh. as well. There's going to be a more burrow. roach aggression. Yeah, the third base does get spotted, and now there's two places that Bunny has to defend. The rocks are getting taken out, so that makes it a little bit easier, but... You know, the, the tanks can't cover the both, both positions. He needs more tanks, and he's limited on his production. He's not actually building any tanks right now, so this is going to get very hard. And there's the burrow. He's waiting for the movement speed, and he's going to get underneath that tank, and he's going to burrow. Exactly. TLO is going to have one chance where oh. Bunny gets taken by surprise with the burrow. So what he needs to do is just move oh. the roaches on top of all the tanks. Maybe scout out sort of the area around and check to see if there are tanks this on the high ground. Deal. Is it Bunny's spotted? Bunny's not going to spot. The overseer gets annihilated. Oh, get ready. He wants Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, TLO wanting to take this home now. Is he going to be able to? Great, oh. Mike. Wow, that tank. He's picking up. Oh, it does eventually fall again. A couple of kills there. All the roaches will clean everything up here. The Banshee, of course, rings from the sky and everything's forced back into the natural. The third base might get picked off and that's a bunch of workers that will get killed as they transfer. And TLO is actually going to split some roaches off, force a fight in the natural. There is another tank here on the ramp, but it's kind of blocking everything from coming down as well. So reinforcements might be slower. The Banshee must have so many kills by this point. And the SUVs running through, getting annihilated. He lost a couple there and this is really cool. I can't tell how cost efficient it is, but he's keeping Bunny on two bases, which is what's important. Yep, the, the number of workers killed in this game, guys, is absolutely dead even at the moment. It's 17 apiece right now, and uh, TLO still able to push in when there isn't siege tank coverage, but now there are quite a lot of medevacs, and these Marines are going to get healed an awful lot. Great micro as well with the siege tanks. Liquid Bunny here. Oh, let's look at micro. Starcraft Master, ladies and gentlemen, is at work. Bunny is doing an amazing job with these siege tanks, being so cost efficient, constantly scanning these roaches as well. But TLO is so relentless with this pressure. Will he just have enough? The marine numbers are whittling down. Siege tanks having to go up onto the high ground, but the tanks are following suit. Here comes the burrow. There's the unburrow on top of the tank, and Bunny's in a lot of trouble here. He really is, and behind this, we do have Ventral Sacks and Numerous Carapace. We could have overload drops with speed, which is gonna ravage the main base. And there's the GG as he realizes he just can't even defend the natural, let alone the third. And TLO with a very well played strategy, in my opinion. Like, really awesome in game number one. That, that was very calculated because. You've taken the gold is towards your opponent, so that's a little bit risky. But he, you know, he went for roaches, got the extra minerals, and that gave him the influx to have as many roaches as he did to 
put on as much pressure as he did. And the goal base was scouted late as well, exactly. and as you guys in the audience saw too, we had a situation where the Banshee did a little bit of damage, not that much. The Hellion follow-up got 10, 11 worker kills, but at the expense of every Hellion, at the expense of every Reaper, and that didn't actually scout the gold until the Banshee came by. So that gave TLO a lot of time to prepare for what he needed to do, and just that influx of yeah. income really helped him so much there. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, that was just fairly well played. There was just too many rotors. The Banshee was still alive. You know, he done a great job. A great job to the micro on the, the tanks, because um, otherwise he would have died that little bit sooner. That was pretty good, actually, was, from I'd Bunny, constantly lifting them up into the medevacs. And that is hard micro. For those of you who haven't played it, go check out StarCraft Master and see if you can beat that it's level. It's like level 30, I think. It, it's level one 25. of the latter. It's, it, it's, it's hard. It's an in and he, he was doing it with two tanks at once. Yeah. It was, it was pretty impressive. The initial siege tank positioning, I think, for Bunny on the high ground in the main base meant that TLO's first push with the Roach is coming into the natural. Mm -hmm. Okay, they couldn't push all the way up into the main, but they could attack the natural mineral line and generally wreak havoc down there and without getting within range of yes. the siege tank. And, and they took out the wall, which was a big deal. There was a one lot marine in the bunker. And the, the SUVs, like the bunker's quite far forward, so the SUVs are quite far in the mineral line to actually get there in time to actually repair it. So it was very well calculated and good decision making from TLO. I think the key thing there really to note is that once the wall was up and the bunker was up, the siege tank was still in the main base. Yeah. It wasn't behind, uh, like of course it still needs to come down and siege up, but really it needs to be like somewhat close yes. to the bunker so that the rogers can get shelled a bit earlier. But that was last game, guys. We're into a completely new one now. Let's hop in to King Sejong Station. Spawning to the top left as the blue Zerg player. He is 1-0 up at the moment and a game away from making it into the semifinals of Gfinity G3. He wants that 30,000. He wants those WCS points. But he's got another game to win before he gets a step closer. It's the little one, TLO. His opponent playing against his teammate on an amazing run of form. But if anyone's going to stop him, is it really going to be TLO here? Or are we going to see a game number three? Is he going to claw it back? Team Liquids, Bunny. Now, sometimes just thinking of, like, when you look at the, both these players, of course, Bunny is relatively new to Team Liquid. He joined mm -hmm. them, like, earlier this year. TLO's been on them since like 2010 or 2011, like a very long time, you know, he's, he's had to experience a lot of team kills. He's had to go through a lot of, of these. Uh, Bunny was on Copenhagen Wolves. He was by far the best player and he was the only one that went to events. So this yeah. is quite a new experience for him overall. And I, I bet he's a little bit more nervous than TLO would be in this situation. But you know what as well? I mean, uh, I think Bunny's really just enjoying the moment right yeah. now. He's not, He's not the kind of pro gamer who's going, oh, I'm winning. All this expectation is on me now. I actually had a brief interview with him uh, yesterday that I just about managed to put up last night. And uh, he, he was saying, yeah, I'm, I'm doing great at the moment. It's fantastic going to these events and just getting really far in the brackets. I'm really enjoying myself. But let's just enjoy it while it lasts. Let's like ride this wave and just play every game like it's my last. And, and I, I thought that was a great attitude for him yeah. to have. And that's why... I'm pretty confident we're still going to see a great game number two. He's not going to crumble under the pressure. Yeah. And that's great to see from what I guess would previously be known as an emerging player from Bunny. He's getting that experience awfully quick. Yeah, absolutely. He, um, he had a great moment of um, brilliance. Like the first WCS season last year, he qualified into that. He was like the first player. And then he didn't do that well. I don't think he... Was it him who has been in WCS for a little bit? But... Um, we are going to have some Reapers, so <laughs> exactly what you expect. Of course, there is a little cliff on the side of the main base that you can hop up to get into that main. Um, yep. And most of the maps actually have this to incorporate for the Reaper play. Um, and that, you know, it's, it's quite nice, but we do have a gas coming out of TLO, so he's probably going to go up to his speed and just play a little bit defensive. But he might actually run around the Reaper and send four Zirkins towards our natural, and that could be a nice little snack on that SCB. Yeah, TLO was still hovering over the overload he had at the natural of Bunny, wanting to make sure actually that command center is going to go down on the low ground uh, before committing to what he's doing next. The Reaper's going to come into the main base, and yep. TLO is waiting for him, although admittedly those Lings won't kill it off just yet, but they will buy him enough time until the Queen pops. Ooh, has to make a gas guys <laughs> immediately, knowing that it wouldn't uh, last otherwise. And yeah, he didn't actually send the Zirkins across the map, realizing that that little cliff is a little bit harder the map or the main and the natural a little bit further away and stuff like that, so 
this is th this is just really really nice play coming out from TLO here. Just making the gas immediately, knowing that the Reaper might get a lot of damage done on the drone. Doesn't want it to come back in and pick it up. I don't want it on low health. I want it on high health, and it's still going to remain there. That Reaper, yes, it got scouting information, but it did absolutely nothing else. The TLO being very very solid so far in this game number two. In the meantime, Bunny once again. Going for that third command center early on, we are going to see another comfortable macro game from both players, but will TLO timing this as well? Yeah. Now, Bunny went for two Reapers as opposed to three last game, and he kept one back at home, so he hasn't been able to be as aggressive because TLO did do that move yes, uh, last game. Yeah, like you were saying, when yeah. he just runs those links into exactly. the natural, he's expecting it. So he's expecting it, and this, you know, you know TLO's less harassed, so he might be able to squeeze out an extra drum because he doesn't have to make an extra geyser or something like that. And you know, that, that's a little advantage for him uh, going into this. Like, the mindset is in his advantage. All right, so we've got the layer coming down now uh, from TLO as well. St uh, bef speed mm, just about completing. This is going to be very interesting indeed. And uh, the Reaper still continuing, unfortunately, to do not very much. And Overlord will spot that Reapers and uh, Hellions are congregating at the natural expansion there. A single Marine going to be sent to take this out, but not before he gets into the main base and sees most of what's going on. Does see Stim being researched as well. Yeah, now we do have three gas geysers being taken, and the first time the gas went into the Zirkling Speed, the next went into Len. This is quite a fast layer timing. And with this, the awful gas, this could be some sort of mute to build. Of course, that's not guaranteed. It could be a Nidus well, yeah, like he likes to do. You never really know. And there's the Roach Warren's one. only just started as well, so he's going to have to hold off against this potential aggression for a little while. He's gotten two Queens at natural. His creep spread is actually yeah, quite be, decent. Must be a Roach Speed time in. Mm. But he hasn't got the Evos yet either, which he would like to have. But you know, Roach Speed isn't so cheap. Reaper's going to come up here. It's fine. Oh, wow. Oh, he mind makes, games. He makes the Spire game? right yes. in the middle, in sight of the Reaper, and there's then the captures it as soon as it dies. Ladies and gentlemen, TLO is going, okay, cool, yeah, let's play a little bit of macro here, and now you die. He's pushed the kill switch. And, and this might be a, an extra mind game on top that double benefits him. Obviously, Bunny could try and incorporate, he, he could play like very greedy for the time being. He's like, okay, I've got 100 seconds until five finishes, meters come across the map, and he could not build anything. And then next in, you know, a Nidus into his main with a bunch of roaches. He should go for the Nidus just left of the main base of Bunny, just down in that little creek right for that. Yeah. Um, we will have to wait and see, but the Nidus has finished up. Road speed has now started. He hasn't gone for any upgrades, so this is a proper bit of a kill move. And there's the Nidus being deployed outside the he, I'll tell you what, Bunny is not going to be expecting... Well, it's TLO. He might be expecting it, he but he's not going to be expecting this, He doesn't have a guys. bunker. He doesn't even have a bunker. He does have the tech labbing coming onto the... Oh. There was a reactor onto the factory, and that's for the starboard, so he's not... Gonna have it. There's, There's the, the Nidus. He, he's panicking now. He's going, wait, what's going on here? Do I need to just rush into the natural expansion? And look, TLO has walled it off. The Hellions can't get in. And on the opposite side of the map, we have the Roaches tearing away at this engineering bay. It's at one third health. Can he save the plus one? He's not even interested. He's busy killing off all the SCVs. There's at least 10 workers gone down right now, I think. Now up to 10, and uh, this is looking like a pretty successful attack here from TLO, especially if he gets an engineering bay. Yeah, absolutely. Now, Bunny did break through the, the, the Evo chamber wall and fight the Queens, and I don't know how many workers he did Only get there. Only four so far. He, he, I, I thought no, he did. I thought he put them so into the Nidus so smart. I thought he might have done that then, but we didn't exactly see. So right now, great position for TLO. He's still got the roaches outside. He's defended the attack. He lost like four workers, like you said. So. Like he's just gonna keep this up. He's, he's put my bring some queens, Guys, like some injection. I can't stress how awesome that was as well because TLO anticipated the counterattack and said, "Because you oh. might counterattack me." Oh, and not again. Are we going round two? We Deep are. Ball. And look at the SCVs going down right now. Bunny is struggling here. Yeah, absolutely. But it is still 38 v 38 workers with three command centers he's got and it. the mills. So he's in a good position. The tank is on the high ground. It looks like for now, Bunny has defended this attack and has stabilized. Uh, but did, did he lose an Evo there? Uh, yes, he, right, well, he lost bait. it. Yeah, that's right. Uh, so plus one armor is no longer going to be coming out for those bio units. And uh, TLO is sitting pretty happy. How slick, guys, was it that TLO knew the counterattack was likely to happen, making sure he placed the Nidus right Ooh. next to his hatchery and then hiding all the drones. Round three now coming in with these roaches. He's had to back off, but he's not done yet. Picking off a couple of supply depots as well. Doesn't want to get within range of the tank fire. Supply blocks Bunny and gets out. So Bunny now going and with the counterattack. This is actually going to get defended fairly quickly. The roaches will down, run down into the Nidus and just 
eject out, out, out of it, but he is going to get some worker kills, which is a nice little win, and you know, he can pick up, drop at the third end. There it goes to pick up, and well, that brought TLO home, so he could run down and snipe Donidas and stop the attack on the aggression. Okay, so what have we got at the moment, guys? We have 62 to 42 workers. Um, at the moment, TLO is being quite healthy in the drone count. Finally, we have Buddy breaking out of his natural expansion and saying, look, I need to stop this aggression here. He's killed off the Nidus Worm. What is the next step? TLO is going for the Hydralisk Den. How is Bunny going to respond to this? Because the onus now really is on the Terran player to try and wrestle his way back into this. I personally think Bunny's ahead myself. Uh, that All of the, uh, the, the investment into that attack didn't justify itself as much for TLO. But psychologically, I think that Bunny is yes. feeling in a position where he has to do something because he lost the engineering bay, he lost several supply depots, he repelled the attack, but he didn't kill all the roaches. So even if Bunny is ahead, at the moment, he's, he's probably feeling like, hang on a second, I need to make sure I'm ahead. I need to go and like poke and prod at his main. Yeah. And uh, I, I feel like Bunny, he, he's going to have to be the aggressor at this point. What the? That's mm. a really weird Nidus, but that is a brilliant place if you can get a full on flank from the no. side. If he is doing that, that is one of the best oh, moves I've Dario. seen this year. <laughs> and that is TLO perfectly. But you know, the tanks are in a great position. The, the bio is covering them. That you know, The rocks would have to be destroyed first, but he is going to pick up two medivacs full of units, and that could make the tanks very vulnerable. Elevator play. Okay, this means that these units won't be able to go back into the Nidus to defend, but that's okay. He's coming in for the flank. The two siege tanks. There's Don't. Hydras. Now they see it coming. And is it going to be too late? The Roach Hydra coming in. He needs to pick up the tanks very quickly indeed. The Medivac's coming back over. One tank goes down. The second tank goes down. Bunny picks up. He's going straight the, into the Natural. The Knight just gets killed off, so the units have to go all the way around. And the Natural is getting destroyed here by the double drop. The workers getting killed. He's killed 30 workers V20 right now in his favor. So he's doing good. He's taking his third behind this, and he is Mac going up. So he's getting a good advantage. The Natural could get picked off, and it will fall. So great snipe there by Bunny. That's exactly what we were talking about a little bit earlier. Bunny's going, oh, actually, let me just make sure I'm consolidating my position here. I'm going to go and attack TLO with a great idea to flank, but with the Nidus getting killed off, he has no choice but to counterattack now. And this game, all of a sudden, Bunny is feeling a lot better about it. Yeah, and we have some Stim Bio. Matter of fact, does get picked off there. And this is a decent trade still for Bunny, and GG, GG. does get called. That was... Oh, that was... Oh, that was, I love the way that he put the Nidus outside and then he picked up and then killed the Nidus so they have to run around and instead he counter-attacked with them. That was... That was, a, 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 <laughs> that, that that was, was just really calculated there from Bunny to make sure that the siege tanks were more or less within range of the Nidus. He yeah. wanted to cover the area around it. TLO going, well, I can just set up a flag with the Nidus, right? But because the Nidus was the first target, he didn't really yeah. have much of a choice. That was just a great tactical maneuver. It was. You know, as, soon you, as soon as you see, like, when he hear the Nidus, that's going to put alarm bells, because then you exactly, know, yeah. like, where is he? <laughs> he didn't see anything. And then he sees it, as it killed it instantly, perfect decision, and I got the natural, and you know, TLO lost all those units, or would have lost them at the third base, and you know, the next counter attack would have probably killed them anyway. So, And that means, ladies and gentlemen, that we're going to be going into a game number three on Deadwing, between Deadwing. TLO and Bunny, to decide who gets into the semi-finals of G-Infinity's yeah. G3. Yes, $3,000 match, technically, you now. <laughs> Whoever wins this gets $3,000 in fourth place. Oh, yeah, top four. That's a, that's a pretty big amount of money to be resting on a single StarCraft yeah. game. The countdown has already begun. For those of you who are watching at home, uh, those of you who enjoy playing StarCraft in the audience as well, don't forget, check out gfinity.net. Incredibly easy to sign up and play for up to £30,000 worth of prizes that are dished out every single month on the site. You just create a profile and go. Incredibly easy to sign up to tournaments. And a lot of the pro players that are here now at this tournament, uh, in a couple of days' time, when they fly back home, we'll be playing, them. We'll be playing as well. So uh, if you feel yeah. like pitting your skills against that yeah. of TLO or Bunny, yeah, um, an MMA MC Hyun first, Grubby, he loves them as well. Yep, exactly. Loads of people are on it, and you should be as well. So make sure you go ahead, give Gfinity a little bit of love, and check out what uh, what they have to offer. Because frankly, you could be walking away with a bit of cash yourself. Oh yeah. For now though, we've got a game number three to talk about because we are on to Deadwing, ladies and gentlemen, and spawning in the top left position as the Red Zerg player trying to be very innovative with the Nidus play in game number two, not quite able to pull it off, but it was great watching what he got here in game three. A lot's on the line. It's the little one, TLO. His opponent is in the bottom right position, a dominating performance in his group stage yesterday, 
and losing game number one today. It looks like he's rallying, but he's got one more game before he carries it home and into the money. It's Liquid's Bunny. Yep, now this is the first full play map that we actually have had because there, ha there were false cost positions on the first map. So we can see the overlords are just flying around trying to see what's going on. It is cost positions on quite a large maps. So, you know, this does favor uh, TLO a little bit as of course it takes longer for his opponent to get there. He has more freedom to expend and things like that. We just announced Bunny and someone in the audience like held up a giant Korean flag. Yeah. And now I'm slightly confused. There it is. <laughs> there it is, yeah, he was doing it yesterday it, with it, 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 It's still morning, he's not sure who's playing yet, don't worry. Yeah. We'll be seeing that again later though, I'm pretty sure. Yes, got, next game, man. Yeah, we've got, the, uh, we've got the hatchery and the command center, of course, going down on respective opposite ends of the map. Now, on dead wing, it's not force cross, I believe, so yeah. that's why we've got the scouts going out in multiple directions from TLO. A little bit safe to take back command center first approach coming out from Bunny here. And once again, for the third game, uh, we're not going to be seeing any crazy early game cheese. No. Just, just going to be transitioning comfortably into at least two days. Yeah. Now, TLO has been the aggressor in both games. Yeah. Uh, he went for the, you know, the, the gold, he used that to input his resources and get all those roaches. His second game, he went for a night as well. So, roach plays so far. Do you think we're going to have a bit of roach plays this game, a bit of an aggression, or do you think he's going to try to outmark his opponent? You know what, I think cross map, there are potentially more places to hide, but if he was to go roach play across the map like this, I'm feeling yeah. telling close in TLO. Like, that, that could happen. It is a long way to go, Yeah, though. exactly. It's, uh, it's a bit tricky. You know, this would be a good map for Mutas, of course, as well, because, you know, they, they fly around, dip and dodge between all the bases, so... Yeah, but maybe TLO's like, well, others are excused Mutas, so why should I use Mutas? Yeah. <laughs> we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Original, for my like it. Let's talk stats a little bit, Fury. Mm -hmm. um, what I find interesting about this matchup is that if you look at run of form at the moment, ZBT, TBZ, TLO is 6 and 13, just in recent major tournaments, mm -hmm. And Bunny is also 13 losses, but 27 wins. Mm -hmm. So strictly speaking, Bunny, it feels like he's got the upper hand. But if you then take a look at the history between these two players, and this is why I think it's interesting, TLO leads eight maps to three in their last three encounters. Three to one in the Seed Story Cup. Three to one in Asus Rog. Two to one in Home Story Cup. And these were the last three meetings. Mm -hmm. So it... It's an interesting sort of almost changing of the guard as. Were they all two ones or two zeros? Uh, two ones and three ones. Two ones, okay. Yeah. So it looks like it, yeah, we're following the same pattern again. Uh, it's going to be another two one. There might be Bunny this time. Well, we have had a lot of statistics that go in the opposite direction, like Snoopy, Jachi and stuff like that. Like yep. The Muslim. So I think Bunny might actually take this. He might. I mean, a lot's happened since those tournaments as well. Like, Bunny has just been getting stronger and stronger. But that said, I can't really say TLO is getting weaker and weaker yeah. because he goes to these tournaments and he just shines so much in the spotlight thanks to his incredible experience. Uh, we are going to be seeing Hellions once more, guys, and by the looks of things. And a Starboard. I mean, it could be Widowmine drops. Let's not discount that just yet, but no, there are the two Hellions. Bunny's favorite unit from the factory coming out there. And, uh, well, w with the barracks flying over to position itself next to the Starport, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a Tech Lab on that and some Banshees to follow up. Yeah, it looks like it. And... That doesn't guarantee that it's going to be cooked. He does have the double gas, so he does have the resources to go for it. But game number one, he didn't. And he'd done some amazing harassment that kept him that much alive uh, <laughs> against the attack. Mm -hmm. And there's the third command center, so he is macking up behind this. I think uh, we were happy talking there about statistics, but I think it was a CC first into this. So it does not right. good, so I don't know if he actually knows where his opponent is yet. Ah, um, that's a really good point, actually. Um, well, no, he's only just scouting now, but I'll tell you what, if you're going to scout, you might as well be with basically the quickest unit you've got. Yeah, exactly, and two of them, so. Yep, so he should be all right there. Uh, TLO getting his overlords in position oh. to suicide into the main one. He needs yeah. to. Okay, and there we go, and wow, he gets a Zergling in. Yeah, and he sees, oh, that's a big, he, he sees a cloak. cloak. Yep. And of course, you know, if anyone doesn't know, whenever you're researching from a tech lab, it glows that green, so he uh, knows. He's like, Bunny, you're going to cancel this? I can see it, man, and nibbling away at the tech lab. But that, he doesn't know if that's a mind game. There are some people who will research um, one of the cheaper upgrades to trick mind reactor. game. Yeah, 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 the medevacs. And yeah, you know, that's something that can happen as well. But he, at least he knows his banshees. That's guaranteed. I like how he nibbled away at the tech lab, though. Actually, if you think about it, the tech lab has a lot of scary green goop in it. I'm not sure you kind of want to eat your way into that. Although I guess they're Zerg and they bleed green blood, so maybe they thought it's a Zerg structure. I don't know. That's a good point. <laughs> so the double engineering bay now going down for Bunny, looking to transition a little bit later on into a more uh, bio-heavy 
upgraded kind of composition. These Hellions aren't going to be multiplying in number. They're just here to keep creep spread in check, to make sure that nothing crazy is coming out of TLO. And, uh, I mean, the layer's a lot later than it was last game. We haven't seen any crazy Nidus play or anything like that. This game looks a lot more normal so far. Yes, absolutely. Perfectly standard right now. Like you said, he is just near enough waiting for the... Why is there an SCB coming across the map? Um, he's just waiting for Creep to deny that. The Banshee's going to come over here. If he can get pop shots onto the Queen and stuff like that, it, you, know, you can pick him off with the Hellions, and that's for a large fight, your, your static defense. You know, that's what you defend with. And there is the cloak, so he does know that he has been able. And there are yep. the Mulas, or the Mula, uh, the Spire. So it looks like he will be going for that. Yep, he's getting ready for that. Um, and of course, cool. spotting, it's a little bit unusual almost to spot uh, the tech lab and then still have Cloak come in. I mean, of course he's prepared for it. He's got the Overseer here as well. But bear in mind that uh, if TLO spots that, a lot of the time people just cancel that Cloak and try and play some mind yeah. games, save, them in, uh, save the gas especially, and try and use it for something else. But it doesn't look like that's happened here. Number of workers killed in this game, five so far, and he's got the Banshees in yeah, decent health so far. Yeah. He and can he, build on that. And he hasn't, not all the bases have spores. This one does at the third. And he has some in transfer in places, but he's relying more on overseers. So, you know, he is getting some extra kills. And, you know, in the meantime, the Hellions are denying that creep spread. And Teal was just, you know, he's macroing up. He's getting his, his 101 upgrades. He's getting um, his numerized carapace as well, I guess. And to make sure he can spread all his overloads across the map and spot all the drops. Yep. Um, so he can pick them up with medivacs. So, you know, it, it's working quite well. And the Spire is now spotted. I believe he should be able to see it from that point. So, your bunny knows what's incoming, and he hasn't had it on the turrets just yet. Wow, and Bunny just trying to milk as much Nine value points. out of that Banshee as possible. Doing a great job, taking his overall work. As, oh, wow. He wants to try and bait. Well, oh. it's not like he can oh. bait a scan. You're playing against a Zerg guy. Oh, it just, oh so close. <laughs> that was, that was a, the Queen's running away going, oh, I can't shoot. Wait, wait, what health are you on? Oh, ding. Don't yeah. even worry about as it. As it runs over Andy. It was on a hold command there. Otherwise, it would have kept chasing the Queen and killed it. <laughs> Amazing. Um, so, unfortunately, they have put Bunny a smart move. Uh, we do have the Mirrors already out in the field. The Marines are trying to intercept them with the Zerglins. And the Zerglins do take a couple of Yeah, you, you can't bait out scans with that Banshee, man. Zerg don't have scans. <laughs> He's just staying there going, come on, come at me, bro. But uh, unfortunately, <laughs> he, you can get seen in that position. But now TLO coming out with the Mutalisks. And uh, he's going to be doing a little bit of a defensive job. He knows that the Marines are coming across the map. He knows that the Hellions are there. He doesn't want to just uh, move all his Mutas somewhere else in case he needs them for defense. May need yep. a couple more Banelings. Oh, Let's see how good the hits are. This is not maybe the best decision. All the Marines get surrounded, but there's not that many Zirkins, and they do get picked off. And actually, the Mutas are fighting the Marines. They're stim. They're going to have a very bad trade here, and the Hellions do get picked off by the Queen, but a few workers, I believe, they get, did get picked off there, and he is going to have to pick up these units as the Mutas... Uh, oh wow, he actually just leaves him there to fight. Yeah, it's, I mean, that was always going to be a little bit risky for TLO, because, like, I mean, Baneling speed is only yeah. half done at the moment, so he, he really wants uh, that Bunny's faster speed on position. creep. Yeah. He's, he's in a really good position. He's got his third, and it's towards his opponent, so the rally is through it, so it's always kind of defended against open attacks, like we also saw in Belgium Vestige. And he's, you know, he, he, there's this low ground that you can kind of abuse. He's got so many upgrades almost ready. Plus one flyer attacks is about to complete. Baneling speed is about to complete. He wants these and he wants to group his units together and be ready for this. But Bunny just keeps being relentless. Yeah, 68 workers v 71 right now. And, you know, with the meals and stuff like that, it doesn't make, oh, it makes a huge difference. Oh, God. We do have some Widow Mines. But they went after the Zerglins and not that much uh, damage there. And... Bunny is really capitalizing on this. The Mirrors are going to fly in. A couple of Medivacs might get picked up, but Bunny does drop the units just in the nick of time there, and he has a decent trade here for the, lo uh, the units. Oh, that's so, so good and from TLO. Him. He used the Mutalist specifically targeted down the Medivacs. He was like, hang on, guys. I've watched Snoot versus Jack G. I know <laughs> what to do here. Don't even worry about it. And uh, targeting down all three Medivacs, and then a single Baneling rolls in, picks off the rest of the Marines, and now... TLO is in a position where he can at least for a while sit back and go, okay, what do I need to do here? Let me recollect my thoughts. Yeah, and fourth base isn't coming right now, and oh, man, like TLO is gonna have a look at, look at the production tab right now for Bunny. Like he's got he's got two two, he's got his mech, he's getting his you know he's going uh, bio widow mind Thor, which is a great composition against this. Yeah, obviously it all comes down to more the unit control. If you know, the the widow mind get the connections, if the Bainans do, if the target fire is correct from the mutas. Well, I mean, TLO has been pretty upgrade heavy. He's got yes. the plus two attack already done for melee units, which is great. That queen may be slightly ambitiously spreading creep there. Oh, needs to be careful about that widow mine. He needs to bring a. There we go. He's got. Oh, yeah. 
got that uh, sus now, and he's got a lot more bailings than he did last and time. He's two, got bailing speed. 2-2 two, two is getting close to finishing up for Bunny, and of course he will get his 3-3 three, three much faster than the Zerg, because there is no Hive. And what? Oh, the uh, party? Builders. Party hats? Why? Th those drones just came out and went, can we fight too? And it's like, no dudes, you gotta stay home, man. Yeah. It's too dangerous. And then the Mule is kind of committed. Right now, Bunny has a nearly 30 supply advantage, and he has a great split. The Thor is at the front. The 